coffee. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. All righty. Good morning. You're waking up with Will and Tess. It is now 649, 56, cloudy in some spots, a little rainy in others. Uh, definitely rainy up on the roof here where we are in Corner of Blessage and Millum. And it's kind of leaking into the tent, Yeah, Tess. we have to be putting everything up. But, again, this is for a good spot. So every time something, something doesn't really happen, then we'll just pour it again just for like that. This is a, a regular thing that happens, though. I mean, roof set, you're always going to get a little bit of rain on the roof. It's going to be a, bit, a little bit wet, but you know what? It's, it's only for a few days, and you're right. We're doing this for the kids right here in Kalamazoo, raising money for the Community Healing Center, $85,000 by tomorrow. And people are thinking, oh my God, how are you going to raise $85,000 by tomorrow? Well, just in one day, this amazing community has already raised 32600 And we're still counting right now. So here in about 10 minutes, we'll have, hopefully, we'll have a new count. Hopefully, we'll have just tons and tons of people out here at the corner of West and Jamilum by 11.30 to 1.30 for Big Mo's and doing their barbecue out here for lunch and donating for a good cause for Roosets. All you need is 10 bucks to get into that lunch. 10 bucks, and it's going all towards the community healing center. I, off subject, I just have to mention that uh, when I got up here this morning, all you ladies who spent the night up on the roof, your fashion statements were amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what you guys were wearing. Let's... We didn't care. We just wanted to be warm. I, I know. Trust me. I know you didn't care. Warm was key. Again, we are live at Westage and Millum. It's Will and Tess of 103.3 KFR for Roofset. Yeah, yeah. It's my sweater. Yeah. 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 I put it there last night to stop water and it's getting really hot. Woo! Unfortunately, it's my Lion King sweater. Aww. I look like a, a packet of Starbucks last night because I had pink pants on. Now, I'm sure going to minimize it now like so I can get on the internet. So that is what was our problem before. Like, boom, 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 Let me know if you can still see us. <laughs> Uh-oh. What is really happening on the roof, Dana? Your, the picture is not there. Okay, I will wait until you update it. That's right. <laughs> my my fleece. I wanted to get one. <laughs> 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 Wait, it says it's cloudy, but is it actually raining outside? The public safety donated nine hundred dollars. That was what was in that bag. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it was over nine hundred. Also, Dana, there is a uh, Fox 17 morning news weather bed, too, that's uh, in there. Oh, good. Austin Smith. Austin Smith was 
besides cooking contests. Yes. Cleaning pants. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, we're talking about that. He drove here from Florida to do this? Yeah. A few years ago. A few years ago. Sure. Just the WX bed. And it's not that long. It's just enough to get out the current temp. That kind of thing. The other one, brown one? Sweet, thank you. Yeah. Um, let me just do a quick one. Yeah, yeah, just say rainy. cloudy, rainy. Oh, sweet, sweet. Go, Dana. Fifty six and cloudy and a little rainy in Kalamazoo. And Battle Creek, and we are Will and Test live at West of Jamila. Roof set going on with 103.3 KFR. so bad for your Lion King sweater. A little bit. I know your love for it. I did it to save the other people who were up there and they dressed Just like in the movie. <laughs> Is it Mufasa or Simba that's on it? Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, how in the world is that? <laughs> Nobody's crying. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, the thumbnail's still being funky, just so you know. Tessa's stepping out, and uh, I'm going to step out for a minute, too, to uh, get coffee and eat a donut. So, um, how much time until 
the next. Are we playing any uh, of the songs, the new songs this morning? Awesome. Um, I also put two other songs. So if you go on page 12, there's that line of songs. And then the other two, the one with uh, the girl you know and the detective, that's on page 11, I think. They're still colored the same. Yep. Yep. Those are the two... Uh, Two new ones. Okay. Awesome. Do you want me to uh, talk out of that into the next song? Right. Um, awesome. Yeah, and then we're going to talk out a fight song. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Like a couple other girls that they interned with, yeah, 
I have Deb's phone number. Well, we got to go out after the song. So, yeah. I just want to know. It's my best friend, John. Mandy Miller right there in her story. Uh, powerful stuff as Will and Tess broadcast live on the roof of roofs at the corner of West Village and Millen. And it's pretty much what we're doing this for right there, Tess, is to raise awareness and, of course, get people who have unfortunately been through this to go to the Community Healing Center and get the help that they need and not have to worry about insurance or co-pays or anything like that. Yeah, that's the most important thing. And also judgment. These people that work there, I got the had the pleasure to meet a lot of them and they're amazing they truly know what they're doing and some of them themselves have actually been through some abuse and it's amazing what they do there it's amazing what we are doing here as well Brady raising eighty five thousand dollars in just three days and we're on day number two but we're, we still have a long way to go before we reach that eighty five thousand dollars yes and you can donate we have thirty two thousand six hundred right now uh, and our goal is eighty five thousand 
And you can donate at 488-7580. You can go to roofsit.com or you can find the link at wkfr.com. That's right. And we are going to be up here all day long. We've got Moe's coming out here, Big Moe's Barbecue, at 1130 to 130. Uh, donations, $10 donations, going to get you lunch, going to a good cause, getting you good food. So we want to see a ton of people out here. And today is the day that schools are going to be bringing their, their donations for the fundraising events in their schools because they're collecting money there as well. See, it's very cool. Everybody's getting involved, and we want to see you get involved. And for everybody who has already, you know, with the, the Caravas dinner last night and everything, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. We can always count on the Kalamazoo community to, uh, to come through for us. And I'm very, very proud now to call Kalamazoo my home. See? See what Rufset does? Yes. There we go. It's Roof Set right now. Will and Tess live at West Edge and Millum. 103.3 KFR. This is the new 7 o'clock one. Okay, Dana. Uh, how much time do we have out of this? Because I'm going to go to the back. Will's got a poopy. Um, well, if we could maybe just do a sweep because I've got to go to the bathroom. All right. And I will scurry, hurry on back as quick as possible. Can you still see us on the video? Okay. Uh, how do I was trying to repost your story from the website and the thumbnail that's coming up is that uh, like TV with the the dots on it. You know what I'm saying? On Facebook, my Facebook. I already posted on Hootsuite, but when I posted in the box, what is really happening on the roof live, it's that square with the three dots. Gotcha. Something so simple that I didn't think of. That's why you're the boss, boss. Because <laughs> you do. Okay. And it's just a quick one. Sweet. Oh, good. Thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, what's the song? Should I introduce the song or should I just say, it's Will and, you're waking up with Will and Tess live at Roofsit? Okay. Gotcha.
today's best music, 103.3 KFR. You're waking up with Will and Tess live at Roof Sit. All right, Will's still not back yet. Oh, he's back. Okay. Dear Jane, I don't know if I told you, but one of the viewers yesterday was one of my older listeners, and he messaged me on Facebook saying he was disgusting. He's like, you should be dancing naked. I have you up all day, and I'll have you up all day tomorrow, too. Ooh. Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. It's cool. The weirdos keep me sane, if that makes any sense. The what came on? Is it on and working? The live? Yeah. They can hear us. Oh, yeah, they can hear us. But we, the one viewer that we have right now is Dana. So, mm -hmm. yep, let's totally do that. Look at the screen for the camera. I look way better on your screen. Then, right? We look at the camera. I'm going to take a picture this way because the other pictures didn't save. I don't know if I got it. <laughs> Apparently, I just can't look at the camera. Are we going after Euronimo? Yep. I like to soften the G. Try this one more time, real quick. Look at that camera. our love and we are willing to test live at Westage and Millam. it's roofs at time we are raising $85,000 by tomorrow and again donation you can call right now 269 because it's local just like where the money stays 269-488-7580 yep and you can also go to roofsit.com or wkfr.com $85,000 is our goal and we are at $32,600 and I'm already blown away. That's the first the first day of Roof Sit. And we are going to raise so much more. And literally, we, we're doing almost anything here on the roof to get donations going. Right. What, what would you do? Uh, for Klondike Bar, because I'd do a lot more for do donations than I would do for Klondike Bar. <laughs> okay, what's that? Uh, well, you know what? Why don't we leave it up to everybody else? Because we do have the live stream going on. Yeah, right. You can go to WKFR.com and find the link there. And you can watch us live. We'll have it up all day. Maybe we'll do a donut eating contest. How about that? Yeah. And whoever doesn't pass out first from exhaustion wins. Okay. Well, you're going to win that one then. All right. I see what you're, I see where you're going with that <laughs> one. So, yeah, go to WKFR.com. Check out the live stream. You can watch us live on the roof right now at the corner of Westage and Millam. You know, drive by. We're going to have the Bucket Brigade going here pretty soon. And uh, the sign spitters. Did you see those yesterday? Yeah, those are awesome. I want to learn how to do that. Yeah, well, uh, we had a guy drive out all the way from Florida to do the sign spinning, and he was awesome. 
He had like flaming pants on. Wait a minute, he drove Mohawk. from Florida. He drove from Florida for this for sign spinning. That's awesome. Yeah, Austin is his name, and he is the winner of the sign spinning competition from yesterday. Austin, we love you. And again, go to wkfr.com, check out the live stream. You can see what we look like right now on the roof, and we will do almost anything uh, live on camera for donations. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking the donut eating contest. And uh, we look pretty rough, so don't judge. Will and Tess live on the roof with 103.3 KFR. Oh, we could do sign spinning on the camera. Yeah, totally. <laughs> It'll get all wet because I'll swing it around and drop it. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I mean, he drove from Florida like a few weeks ago, but we didn't have to mention that. Yeah. <laughs> I know, isn't it? And he was rocking it too. He was. Oh yeah. He, he, he was filming him. Yeah. yeah he's filming him. Oh, speaking of which, we gotta get the truck going. Yeah. Um. Stay. Do it. Yeah. Right What's that? Yes, I will stay to do the temperatures. The temperatures. Okay. <laughs> Something better go wrong quick. All right, cool.
the rain stopped for the most part now just cloudy 57 battle creek kalamazoo will and test live at west of jamillum
Oh, the left. We'll take it at 33. Twenty seconds, I give it about. Okay. Will's right, it's twenty seconds, I counted. <clears throat> That was Anne Wright right there uh, as Will and Tess broadcast live from West of Jamilam. And, uh, you know, Tess, I know you're new to Kalamazoo, so you don't really know who Bill Wright is, but a huge philanthropist in the area and just uh, a champion when it comes to fighting for kids. Yeah, he was one of the first people I heard about when I heard I first heard about Rube Sit and that he was, you know, a huge help. And uh, I'm overwhelmed. My, my heart is melting, and I keep hearing these stories. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And it's all thanks to the Community Healing Center for the amazing things that they do with kids and, you know, even adults who go in there because it's not just kids, but we'd like to catch it, you know, in the childhood stage so it doesn't carry on into adulthood. Right. And, you know, when you are an adult and you, you need help, you go in there, you don't need an insurance card, you don't need to worry about being judged. You walk in and you are greeted with open arms. And that's why we're donating right now, 269-488-7580, roopset.com. There's also a link at WKFR.com where you can also find our live stream video so you can see, you know, what it looks like on top of the roof right now. So maybe you're driving by on West Edge, you get to work, and you're like, hmm, I wonder what it looks like up there. Log on to WKFR.com, and you can see exactly what it looks like up here. And, you know, message us on Facebook or Twitter or something like that and say, hey, you know, I'll give a $20 donation if you guys, you know, chug a cup of coffee or a bottle of water or something like that. I don't know if you want me to do that. I'll be bouncing off these tent walls. <laughs> that makes for good but video. But I'll do it. I'll do it. Makes for good video. Again, 488-7580 to make your Roofsit donation. Roofsit.com or, of course, the link at WKFR.com. Hey, Dana. Do you want to ask about charging? I took a bunch of pictures yesterday, some selfies. I took a picture of the tent. I'm wondering, um, should I send them all to my email and put them all into a blog? Would that be the easiest way to do it or the smartest? And make a gallery? <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, all right, if you can think of a catchy headline, that's always my problem. Let me know. He's here. Yeah. The plan's out of this break. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. I've, I've got to go down and figure out how to charge the lift so it doesn't die on us. You just plug it in. Right, whoever's down there has to do it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'll text Deb, or I'll call Deb and see if she'll do it. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, thanks. Okay. I'll call Deb and have her send him over. Yeah, because all they have to do is plug it in, but then they'll have to come back over and let us down. Right. Are you going to talk to Deb 
Yeah, yeah, that's what I was, I was calling it. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. I'm uploading pictures right now to WKFR.com. I took a ton of pictures yesterday. So I'm gonna you're gonna watch me stare at my phone for a while. From from us? Like from our end or your end? <clears throat> oh, how do you so I can tell we have six viewers right now. How do I tell our viewers how to chat with us? I do. I have it. I have the chat box up right now. Group chat. So if you want to chat with us right now, we have a live group chat up. To the right of your screen, there should be an option to chat. <clears throat> and I just chatted. Do you see it? Nope, I'm not seeing anything. Here you go. You rock. No problem. Can I steal a tissue? Yeah. What'd you say, Dana?
into the chopper. You guys can listen live at WKFR.com. Um, you can download on your smartphone. The It's called Radio Pup, Radio P-U-P, one word. And you can listen to us wherever you go. And it might help with the video feed, knowing what we're hearing and listening to. But you can hear the stories of uh, people from the Community Healing Center. Are we talking after this? Forty-nine. Sure. Shut up, and they have bloomer. Oh, I'm a professional singer. Can you teach this one thing too? People sing your songs. <laughs> Four eight eight seventy five eighty to donate. One hundred three point three KFR. She's a shot and a dance with me. Thanks, Mom. My mom was listening to my singing and just texted me. You get your lack of singing talent from me. Thanks. She said, shut up and dance with me. I'll shut up and stop singing. I, when I sleep and there's someone in the bed with me, I warned her last night. I tend to intertwine my feet because my feet get cold really easily. I was like, I'm sorry if we wake up and our legs are. <laughs> it's just funny because every episode, I'm so sorry. I'm just going to fair warn you. I'm not cold. This one time I'm Did it get colder? Yes. Thank you. 
back here. It's not working too well. <laughs> And it's Will and Tess live on the roof, Westnich and Millam. And yeah, roof set going on. I, I don't know what happened, Tess. It seems like the temperature dropped about 10 degrees all of a sudden. I know, in like a matter of 10 seconds. And then the wind started blowing. If you go on to WKFR.com and you check out the live stream that's going on, uh, here's what you will see. You'll see my fiance Casey in the background in her cocoon blanket. And you'll see Tess with the... With mustache. It, it's a mustache. And can I say... Not a classy mustache. A mustache. You a question. That's it. It's not what I even like the hipster mustache. It's like a gray old man mustache. It's a creepy old man mustache. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you pull it off. I'm a silver fox. Yeah, well, that's, yeah. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. 978. I'm sorry. 269. 488-7580. That's 269-488-7580 to make your donation to Roofsit, Roofsit.com. $85,000 we have to raise by tomorrow. Test mustache or no mustache. Right. And we're at $32,600 right now, just from one day here at Roofsit. So I have high hopes for today. And I'm already blown away at all the support that Kalamazoo has. Oh, yeah. I mean, when it comes to big hearts, Kalamazoo has got that covered. Right. I already feel at home, and I'm happy to call this place my home now. We are on the roof live at the corner of Westage and Millam, bundled up and ready to go for the cold with little 3.3 KFR. Yeah, Page two, I believe. There's a, a drum roll. Okay. Yeah, I would do well. Yeah, out of the eight ten break because we got test entertainment news. But we'll tease it coming out of test entertainment news that uh, we've got a. Uh, That Dana, uh, Casey in the background here had the idea of bringing one of those whiteboards that's down in the basement, and you can bring you can put the total up for the camera in the background. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Space. I bet she can't watch it. Or we could just write. We, I thought about that, but I'm going, where's paper? Well, maybe we have dry erase markers. We could just get them. Oh, oh, that's true. I was thinking, yeah, because that would be the other one. We could do that. Rental fee, Red Bull. I mean, you can bring you a Red Bull too, either or. But, I mean, while you're on your way over, man, don't you bring your Red Bull?
and if you had some dry erase markers in your Not up in here. Or... I just ten four. Let me take leather. You got leather? Yeah. Okay. I forgot how close to the edge we were. We're living on the edge. I didn't know we were that close to the edge until so I flew over. I'm like. Fifty seven and cloudy in Battle Creek and Kalamazoo. Today's best music, one oh three point three KFR. Good morning. <laughs> He called you a show. Cool, we'll be ready.
No. Oh, I have to do that all over again. Did you say something, Dana? Okay. Yeah, I, I uh, replied, I think, this morning or last night. I think it was this morning. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, cool. It was for a minute and then it went away. Music 103.3 KFR. Will and Tess live on the roof with the rain in your ears in just a few minutes. Tess Entertainment News. Um, someone really famous guy. We haven't gotten a, an 8 a.m. 
<laughs> Thanks, Dana. We think we're good at radio and stuff too. Well, not really. Yeah, we haven't gotten a sheet for the eight o'clock hour yet. I'm sure she's sending it. Today's best music, 103.3 KFR. Good morning, you're waking up with Will and Tess, live on the roof at Weston Jamilla for Roof Sid. It's Tess Entertainment News time. And here's Tess. Blues legend B.B. King died last night at his home in oh. Vegas. He was 89, and he'd been hospitalized a couple times recently for complications from high blood pressure and diabetes. Those two do not mix. And old age. B.B. King's one of those guys I always wish I was able to hang out with. You know, just kind of like hang out like i don't know you do an impression of him like a, mm, no okay i couldn't i'm not no, baby king that's, that's all i got <laughs> but he's I'm just BB one of those king. those cool guys who's like you just hang out with them and then he's like let me play you a song and then he plays a song and you feel better i don't know i'm gonna miss baby okay leonardo dicaprio and rihanna went clubbing in new york on tuesday night but before they went out he sent her 50 roses and two balloons now i didn't even know that they were together for uh, a little while one of the balloons said I love you, and the other one was a Thomas the Tank Engine balloon. And it's supposedly a private joke uh, between them. Public now. Yeah, but I think it's really weird. I mean, I don't think they've been together that long, and they're already saying they love you. And out of all people, because Leonardo DiCaprio is the one that has all those girls, like 20 girls at a time going with them to the clubs. And not saying I don't like Rihanna, but I, she's the last person I would imagine. Well, he's now getting into his, what, 50s, 60s? He's, he's growing up now. I wouldn't go that far. If he is, he looks really good for 60. Well, yeah, 65. <laughs> David Letterman has finally revealed his final guest on The Late Show, and it's not Jay Leno. It's Bill Murray. Da -da -da. I kind of had a feeling it was Bill Murray, because every time you see, like, a, a Letterman clip of back in the day, it's always him and Bill Murray. Well, yeah, um, Bill Murray was Dave's first guest on both The Late Show back in 93 and Late Night in 82. Wow. You know what they're going to do? They're going to bring down the house that 
but I'm sh- <laughs> we're live on the roof right now. Uh, other big news with roof sit, by the way, coming up in minutes. Little three point three KFR and Will and Tess. And the total is 33,000. 33,000. Insert gallery. <clears throat> and Will and Tess are live at the corner of West Jamilum. Uh, you might be driving by on Westnage and see, you know, the tent up there. We can't see you because we've got the tarp up wrapped around because Mother Nature's not really working with us today. Oh yeah, she's angry and it's cold and blowing. And you can tell we're live because you can hear the sirens going up and down the street here. Yeah, I'm surprised you haven't been able to hear any of the construction. But it's all it's all good. All for a good cause. And you know what? It's doing its job because right now we have a total update. We are now well our goal is eighty five thousand. 33,000! 33,000! We're getting close. I mean, we're still pretty far away from 85,000, but we're getting close. 488-7580 to make your RoofSit donation. RoofSit.com, going to the Community Healing Center, staying local here in Kalamazoo. Help kids. Yes, and let's talk a little bit about tips for kids. Uh, The totals of fundraising for just Thursday for tips for kids, 1,496. Our goal now is 13,000. Let's get there. Boom. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's okay. Good. That's okay. I was trying to make it fast because I knew we were going. Yeah. But it worked. She tried so hard last All right. Time. Is that next? <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
day. Like I could be wearing a like one of those Carhartt jumpsuit dealios. Yeah, why aren't you? And I feel like the wind would still have to break a little bit. They just had a Y of them that you had to put on. So it would always be like some face someone else used the day before. No. So I was like, this is mine. This was mine. On the next song, Dana. Okay. We're waking up with Will and Tessa, 103.3 KFR live at Roots at the corner of Westage and Millam. Roots it going on all day. Hey, Dana, how much time till we talk again? Thank you. Yay, I'm done. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm, this is one of those songs. It's hard not to dance to. You look like a baby dancing. Oh, I dance. Me too. Yeah. Like a stick figure. We have Casey over here working on our our tent, keeping the wind out. Casey is on the outside of this, and really on the other side of that wall, it is a drop. Yeah, literally, the other side of this tarp is just, it's just bye-bye. That's why we have the fence. We're good. Come back. Yeah, come back. Hi, you did it. <laughs> I froze in here last night. Everyone knows. Well, I need to show the world my awesome like, clip painting skills. Yeah. And that's how you were. <laughs> Boom.
I'm going to see if this works again. I can't do it. I suck at it. Will and Tess live on the roof, Westnidge and Millen for Roofs at 2015, raising $85,000 for the Community Healing Center so they can stay open and help out kids the way that they always done. No co-pays, no insurance needed, just kids need help, they help them. Yes, and this is a serious issue, and I don't want to hear about the rain being an issue because I have been sleeping on this roof in the rain while the rain was coming inside of the tent. It is a part of roof sit. It's always going to be a part of roof sit. Rain or shine, we're here to raise money. We're always taking your donations. 488-7580, roofsit.com or wkfr.com. You can head around the corner here, West and Jamil, and you're going to find the Bucket Brigade out there with buckets and uh, there. They're fighting the rain to stay out there and collect donations. Right. And don't forget all the local Shell gas stations. You can, um, there are people exactly. there, mm -hmm. tips for kids. They're standing outside in the rain collecting money. So if you're driving by Westnidge, you know, a lot of people drive by and they honk and they scream. They go, woo, woo. And they, you know what? That's great. We love the support of us being up here, but love it even more when you drive by and you just put that change you have laying in the car in the buckets or, you know, just even a dollar, just one dollar donation. A little bit helps. Exactly. Again, we're raising $85,000. That's our goal. Go to WKFR.com. Check out the live stream so you can see what it looks like up here on the roof. And uh, maybe we'll do something, you know, crazy for a donation up here. I'm still thinking the donut eating contest. And I have snorkels on right now. It's pretty entertaining. Right. Yeah. We, we found ways to, uh, to graphically put things on our face. Yeah. You can go to um, KFR.com and find the link to broadcast live and our Twitter. Let's face it. We want to come. Go to WKFR.com. You got well, a face for radio. Live at Roopsit. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. What are you trying to do now? <clears throat> And that was on camera. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> 
so hard in my life. <laughs> Last night, I could, I just, I, I basically did this. So I can't, I can't, can't, can't breathe. breathe. I can't breathe. Currently, it's cloudy 58, and as we broadcast live at Westage and Millum, it's Roof Sit with 103.3 KFR with Will and Tess. Good morning. Okie dokie. Yeah. No, you really look crazy just laughing at yourself. I know. Dancing I know. and everyone. <laughs> Is Tess out there? I got I might need to fix it. I do too. Do you see me dancing like that?
I gotta talk in like a minute. Oh, I know. I tried, I tried saving them and I'm tell them I apologize. <laughs> Willow Test Live, Millam and Westenage for Roofs at 2015, 3.3 KFR. Good morning. Uh, how about 38? Because I have to run to the bathroom and I don't know if we can get down just yet. I go. Oh, um, We can't all be gone. What if this thing flies away? Okay. I'm just kidding. I'll sacrifice. No, I'll wait. No, you guys call it first. I I'm was not joking. I'm fine. We'll be back by 38.
normally go to Dunkin' Donuts. Or Sweetwater. Has anybody been to Sweetwater? No. But uh, um, we'll think about it. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. Sweetwater Donuts. Yeah. Open 24 hours. Donuts 89 cents. And they're the best? Yes. Mom and Pop's Donuts. Yeah. Ah. Dana. Dana. They're telling a really sad story right now on the air. This was the one that made me cry on the air yesterday. Yeah. Do what? Sorry. Nothing. You can go to the say something. The song. Yeah. 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 Ah. Dana went to poop. I said, I think Dana went to poop. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, thanks. Maybe stuck in the bathroom. So some roof sit talk here. Um, just roof sit talk if he's not back. Oh, okay. Woo woo.
works on my blog. So, you know. Alright, I'm back. I didn't wash my hands. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> that, I'm not grossed out by yeah, a lot of things, but that I am. Well, technically, you can't wash your hands because they just have that hand sanitizer. Hand sanity. Yeah. It still helps. Did you at least use that? Yes, I used it. Okay. Don't get lippy with me this early in the morning. Back. You're supposed to argue back. No, I don't get lippy when I want. <laughs> Who, who am I talking to? This is like the most laid back guy ever. Uh, his fiance just laughed at me. Hey, too personal. <laughs> Y'all good, let's take it out. Take it out of the break. Do it out of the commercial. Uh, or no, out of the commercial break, yeah. It, I don't even think anyone would know this. It's all good. Really? What are we going to do here? What are we going to do here? We're going to talk. Okay. Um, unless you want to do a story. We could do uh, restaurants where kids eat free. And then we can talk about Moe's coming for lunch. We, let's not talk about kids eating free and then Moe's. Let's well, because everyone's eating free from Moe's today. Well, no, it's a $10 donation. Yeah. I'm high fiving you through the through the okay, live feed right now. <laughs> I washed my hands. No, we didn't. Lying. <laughs> I have some of that. What do you say? say? Please. That smells really good. Yeah. My hands are donut sticky. Thank you. And I haven't oh, even eaten all. Yeah. Yeah. Dana, you. would you like some? One for my homies. Yeah. One for the homies. Because someone doesn't know how to wash his hands. That's a mom for you. Oh, he's got the hand sanding. No, actually, I'm actually. Let me check out my blog. It's really cool.
Hello, Test of the Morning, and yes, we are live at the corner of Westage and Millam. If you're driving down Westage or Millam and you're at the corner, you're going to see somebody out there with a bucket. They're collecting your donations right now. They're standing outside, even though it's cold and wet. They're still standing out there taking your donations. All you have to do is make a quick stop, maybe a quick pull in, drop some change in, or they'll come right up to your window and be like, bloop, right there, change, money, and bucket. Yeah, no donation is too small. It all helps. And you can call as well, 488-7580. Did you get the number right? Maybe you can dial it. <laughs> 488 7580, that's 269roofsit.com. You can find the link at wkfr.com. $85,000 by tomorrow. So the Community Healing Center can run for another year. Yeah, and you have to remember this. The most important part to me, at least, with this is if you need help from child abuse or if you're an adult, you can walk in without a health insurance card and get the help that you need. And the only way that the Community Healing Center can do this is with your donation. $85,000 is our goal. We have 33000 so far just from one day. We, I know we can do this, Kalamazoo. Let's do this. 488-7580. Eventually, I'll give you the right phone number and you can donate. With Will and Tess, <laughs> I'm little 3.3 KFR. <laughs> I came to dance, 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 dance. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're going in and out. I don't hear music anymore. Is that my headphones? Yep. Yeah, because I hear it. Yeah, you got to push it. Ah. Yay, William! Yay! So I was going probably about four hours for the past four hours with not having my headphones plugged in all the way. Yeah, well, we'll get you next time. You're not special. I had to teach him how to use the dish Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Um. That. Want to, uh. I have to go to the bathroom. Did you go to the bathroom? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, when is our next? After the song. Okay. Well, okay. I mean, our next commercial break. After the song. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wake up, Tess, wake up! Um, do you have the story about pets in there? Yep. Okay. Let's watch that one. Donut paper. Yay. Do you want me to run with this one? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, and Will and Tess are on the roof right now, wrapped in a big tarp because it's kind of cold and breezy out. But if you drive by, you definitely see the tent on top of the Hellsburg Diamond at the corner of Westnage and Millum. And we're raising money for roof sets. Yeah, and you may see me running up and down the roof in excitement. 
I'm getting more excited as the day goes on. Maybe it's because of the coffee. And it's amazing, too, because she actually runs up and down the side of the wall. I've never seen it before. It's pretty cool. It's impressive. Yeah. That's what you meant to say. Pretty much. So I found this thing about pets. Well, I'm down, I'm down with pets. All right. Apparently, kids with pets do better in school than kids without them. I could believe that. I can totally believe that. This uh, pet store called Pets at Home, they did a survey and they found that kids think they think that they do better in school and then they actually do. Um, 79% of kids think that taking care of an animal helps them do better with their schoolwork and they think that owning a pet teaches them responsibility and of course it does because it's a lot of work. Right, and you feel like you are in, you know, you're more in charge when you're taking care of a pet so then it gives you more confidence to do better in school. Right, and it helps keep them happier and more calm. I remember when I had a dog growing up, and a cat even, like an animal in general, but mm -hmm. mostly a dog. I was excited to come come home from school to see the dog. The like, dog's always excited to see yeah, you. Yeah, your best friend. And Tessa's like, oh, I thanks. mean, you're you're right. You're you're close. <laughs> Four eight eight seventy five eighty to make your roof sit donation. Roofsit.com. Go to wkfr.com. You can find the live stream so you can see what it looks like. Upon the roof at Westage and Millam. Hear ye! Hear ye. Well, that's a 103.3 KFR. What's the uh, song out of the break, Nana? Oh, Chris, Krista messaged us. Mm -hmm. I just saw that. Hi, Krista. Hello. Everyone Miss misses you. you here. I got some big shoes to fill. I'm trying to read this. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, he never looks at his phone. You should know that by now. Whoop. <laughs> I'm failing miserably with these earrings. Thank you. Stop putting coming. Uh oh. Oh, oh wait, wait. Oh. Yep, there you go. There you go. All right. These are the from Advia Credit Union. Oh. We have a giant check. Oh, wow. Excellent. And they want to photograph it up here. <laughs> ah, right in. Go ahead. So Thanks they recognize Will and Tess. Hey, uh, Dana. Out of the weather, can we go ahead and put a bed there and do we have enough time to talk? Yeah, out of the weather, uh, we'll give a current temp and everything. And then if you could play a live on the roof in a bed. Um, Appia Credit Union is up here, and they have a huge check to present to us, which would be great for the camera. Yeah. Do I have any, either one of you want to jump on real quick and just... Can we have a dancer in the background holding that up? Okay, yeah, can we uh, do a drum roll before they flip over the check and show us the big the big amounts? <laughs> okay, cool. I, I don't 
don't know what we're trying to do here. Yeah. We're just trying to survive. Oh, okay. Lion King sweater. It's heating up a little bit. 59 now and cloudy in Battle Creek, Kalamazoo. Will and Tess live on the roof, and we have something very special right now. If you are via computer, go to WKFR.com. Check out the live stream. There's going to be a big check presentation here. Thanks to our friends at Advia Credit Union, who I'm, I'm guessing a big donation coming our way. Yeah, they haven't shown it to us yet. So, um, I'm going to come over here and the, uh, the camera view. There we go. Excellent. And we have Brad here. And Brad, um, tell us a little bit about, you know, at your credit union and just all of a sudden you guys, you know, you're like, you want to be a part of this? You want to donate? <laughs> sure. Sure. So at your credit union, uh, in 2012, we started a, a promotion with our members called, uh, uh, called CAP, Community Advantage Program. And what we do is we take all of... Uh, these members who have accounts, and they can choose what organization they want to donate to. Uh, we have accounts that we donate every year, and their their weights, their points that they that they accumulate through camp program goes towards these donations that we're that we're getting each day. You chose Roofsa, and we chose Roofsa. Absolutely, that's fantastic. I again, thank you so much. Uh, let me shake your hand, and, and this is. This is huge. All right, um, let's go ahead and get a drum roll going, and we'll, we'll get this get this check. All right, and hopefully, yep, get it right there on the camera. Four hundred and eleven dollars coming straight to the community healing center. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. That is fantastic. Thank you guys so much. You're very welcome. Uh, you know, we're getting closer to that $85,000 goal, and, uh, you know, I, get And that. I got some news about how they added up at Advia, because tonight they are going to be running a Tips for Kids at a Shell station near you. And what Advia Credit Union does with that money that is raised at Tips for, tips for Kids with Captain Natalie Hansen. They match them. So they take this, they take the tips for kids' money, and Advia adds it all up to another donation. Wow. So this is like triple time. Fantastic. Yesterday for tips for kids, we raised $1,000. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure or anything. But uh, yeah, we are so grateful. Thank you guys so much for everything you're doing for Roof Sets. And, um, you know, being out here this morning, the battle of the cold, the rain. Roofs said going out right now the corner of Westnidge and Millam, 103.3 KFR. Awesome. Hey. 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 Sorry, I, I kept forgetting that this thing doesn't reach all the way. Yeah, and, 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 I, I, and I thought she was heading this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. All right, sorry, Dan, I have to take my for a second. Dana? 
you're going to get a picture with the uh, Advia peeps here for the website. Um, when, when do we talk next? Okay, cool. Thank you. On the roof, that is, with a test with 103.3 KFR. It's roof sits, and we are raising money. $85,000, 488, $7580. Let's donate. Should I be more of a judge? <laughs> you looked at me for assistance. I'm like, oh. that's okay. That's the best part. Totally said the call letters. You know, there's too many numbers involved. And he, it's crazy because in the studio he does it every single time. That I've heard. <clears throat> and it might be. Epic. Is there an extra long intro or a short bed that we can put in anytime soon, Dana? Yeah, or can we talk into the 20 break, maybe? Sweets. In 10 minutes? Okay. We got 10 minutes? We got 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I haven't shown my, my boots yet. I have rain boots on. They're still warm. It's the only part of my body that's warm right now. Don't think you're going to be getting up here with me. This is a one-person seat. It takes talent to balance on four air mattresses. Yeah, I do. Oh, I 
you choose today. Uh, well, no, we can take one lick at the end. I'm just kidding. Just, 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 just,
love in the dark. Me and my cool go kart. <laughs> All righty. And then we're going into the break after that, correct? Bye. Right. How you doing in there, Dana? You staying awake? Ah, welcome to our world. How did you sleep? Was she? I thought you would love it. Oh yeah, she wants to, she seriously, if she could get in your mouth, she would. What? Today's best music, 103.3K, if are you waking up with Will and Tess, coming up next, uh, we would like to give a big thank you out. You'll have to find out who and who next, 103.3K, if are. No, don't do that. Don't do that on camera. Uh, tonight? If you if you let her run around the backyard, it's gonna be muddy though. Oh, she will crash and sleep for the entire night. She just has so much energy. Did she go? Ah, bah, 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 bah. Did she grab a toy and bring it to you? Yep. She she won't do it if she, unless she has something in her mouth to bring to you and show you. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that's more like it, but it's so cute. I mean, if when I come home and she's not there, I'm heartbroken because I'm greeted with that every day. Is there a nine o'clock update? Oh no, we do weather at nine o'clock. All ready to go. A new nine o'clock hour sheet. No more donations. It's still early though. We're still at thirty-three thousand. I'm gonna not get mean to the listeners, but I'm gonna be like, "All right." Hey, yesterday. Will shot mortars. I know. <laughs> Take the uh, the intro on this. Yeah. Take the intro. <laughs> I thought I knew the word. Waking up with Will and Tess, we're live on the top of the roof for Roofs at 2015. The corner of Westnich and Millam, and you know we've got a lot going on out here, including Bucket Brigade, um, you know, tips for kids. There's so many different ways to make your donation to help out Roofs, and we just have to say a huge thank you to all the volunteers who are out here today, to all the people who volunteer time, money, you know, product, whether it's, you know, Carabas for dinner last night, Big Mo's Barbecue, who's going to be out here at 1130 till 1, 
barbecuing up for a $10 donation. And also a very special thank you to my fiance, Casey. Uh, today is Casey's birthday. Happy birthday, Casey! And for her birthday, she decided out of anything she could do today to come out here and help with groups that and volunteer and even stay the night here last night with us. And she's spending the night again tonight. And she again said, oh, tonight. no, I'm staying tonight. I'm not going anywhere. So thank you, Casey, so much for being out here on your birthday. Everybody here appreciates it. Uh, bleh. Hey, now. I love it. Come on, now. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is what I wanted to do. This is, I mean, this has been a great weekend. I mean, it's only Friday, but this has been amazing. This is an amazing experience. And we've got one more day of it. We've got $85,000 to raise by tomorrow. And we are slowly working towards that goal. But we need your help. Yes, we're still at 33000 We need you, Kalamazoo. And you want to know where the money for RoopSit goes. It goes to help two programs at the Community Healing Centers, the Children's Advocacy Center and Infant and Parent Services. Uh, and all of that money goes towards helping people. You don't need to walk in with an insurance card. That money is strictly helping people who walk in. 488-7580 to make your donation or groupsit.com or WKFR.com. Groupsit, for the free voice, WKFR. Give me a head. Give me a heads up. Oh, that was good. My face is all red on here. Thanks. It wouldn't have been as cool if he warned you. Yeah. <laughs> Mop. I'm gonna push this over a little bit. Got me off the flesh. Happy birthday. Do you have any plans? You know what I mean. Fixing up the house. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, Hey, Dana. You're after 30. It's worse. I haven't peed yet. Do I have time? Yeah, I'll take air weather. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah. No. Thank you so much for being out here. Yeah, no problem. This is really fun. Um, if you guys need me at all for tomorrow, setting up for any, or doing anything, give me my number. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Nicole. Yeah, no problem. Good luck. See you again tonight. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. Welcome. You're crazy. Way down the roof.
It's going to be a shirt off on the roof day. Not now, but later on when we heat up to 74. Still staying cloudy, not bad. 58 below tonight, tomorrow. Uh, probably seeing a little bit of rain for the last day of roof sit, but it's okay. We're still going to get those donations in. High 80 right now, 60. Cloudy Battle Creek, Kalamazoo, 488 to make your Roofsit donation, Roofsit.com, or of course, see our live stream and donate, WKFR.com. All right, thank you, sir. Hmm?
right now. What's the uh, the next song into the break? You want to do it again, huh? Get him out, Matt. Huh? Get him out, Matt. No, it's good. But it can take karate chops. Mm. No, I can't take karate chops. And don't be modest. Do I smell on you? Or do you spray something else?
And it's Will and Tess live up atop the roof, Westage and Millum. Uh, Tess has been just scarfing down the donuts and the chips up here, so she had to go to the bathroom real quick. But uh, we are here, we are live, and we are raising $85,000 for the Community Healing Center. And uh, we only have today and tomorrow to do it, so if you could please do what you can, 488-7580, roofset.com. You can find the link and the live webcam Hi. at WKFR.com. You're going up and down Westage, you're, you're dealing with a lot of construction right now and it's slow going and i'm thinking you know what instead of getting frustrated instead of getting angry at the drive up and down stress niche why don't you pull in real quick donate it's a medical fact that helping out a charity such as roof sits especially roof sits it makes you feel better i don't know why i don't get the science behind it but it's true so if you are having that stressful day and you're maybe you're just down for any reason by taking just a little bit of money, whatever you can spare, and coming over to West and Jamilum and donating that money, you're going to feel better today. Trust me, it's going to happen. So come on out here, live at the corner of Westnage and Millum. You're waking up for a little test on 103.3 KFR. We need to use the power of Home Depot. Guess what? We're not going to work. It. Not today. Not anymore. Uh, but she said just there are some other people interested in it. Uh, the right. I forgot what my mom said at the blue book there. I forgot what my mom said at the blue book there. 45? Okay. I'm going to step out. Dana. Hey, I'm sorry about that. They were trying to show me how to use the bathroom in the RV. I was like, listen, I just wanted to change in the RV. I can go to the bathroom before body. And uh, you know how how they are. No, we were show we're gonna show you this. And I had to pour water down it by myself. Yeah. But it took me it took me a minute. Seat. Mm. My lady. Don't mind if I do. 
Oh, it went to you first. Yay! Yay! Is Look that stage. This? Lovely. I can't get enough of this stupid crap. I dye my shirt weird. I was gonna say, no, I, I actually expected to see it. Hey, what's up? I dye my chin beard too. I don't I don't know why I can never do this. It never goes over for me. Ow. <laughs> hey, it came over. Cause I put my head down. Jerk mustache. Did you just call me a jerk mustache? Call the mustache a jerk. <laughs> that was beautiful. This is for you. No, give it to me. It's not working out. I don't know why I'm having fun with this. I am too. It's like, it's like, uh, it's like the ball, the game where you throw the ball without dropping it. It's like pong. Hardcore. Victory! I'll keep this one. <laughs> <laughs> you can't steal it. <laughs> okay. Um, how well, I still haven't figured out how to chat. What is going on? The chat gods said no. Ha. <laughs> Whoa. I can't. I'm, I'm gonna smack the great ones that way. I hate clowns so much. Why did I do that? You did it so, but it was like fundamentals. You. No! <laughs> I think. What is this? Oh my god, that is beautiful. Give me the energy shot. That is the sexiest thing I think I've ever seen you do. How long do we have, Dana? Will don't need no donut contest. Mm -mm. Can do it right here, right now. No reason at all. I'm there. <laughs> he always keeps a straight face. I love it. No, 
I don't want some. I'm gonna go this. <coughs> we're talking after this? I think so, yeah. When you were eating your donut, it was four minutes. Already How did that happen? Um. Eh. How did, that's confusing. Yeah, I, I don't know how it switched around like that. Right there, we are Will and Tess live, corner of West Mitch and Millam, and uh, her story is, is an inspiration to to everyone who you know has had something terrible, uh, like sexual assault, happen to them, and too afraid to come forward. And she was brave enough to do that from a, from a victim to a survivor. And you know, it's it's powerful what the community healing center is doing for people. It, it's helping people. You know, going from that victim mindset to a survivor, and uh, the only way that they stay open is by raising these funds so that nobody has to present a medical card. Right, and they're not joking. All the money stays right here in Kalamazoo, right at the Community Healing Center. You can walk in, not have to present a medical card, and you can get the help that you need. And every single person that works there is awesome. I met them yesterday, and I'm meeting new ones today, and love them, love what they're doing, and they know their stuff. That they do, and we know that by tomorrow, we need eighty-five thousand dollars. We're at thirty-three thousand right now. Please donate, Kalamazoo four eight eight seventy-five eighty. That's how you can call and donate. Roofsit.com or wkfr.com. You can find the link over there. And you know, uh, we did this. We found out the population of Kalamazoo, and if everybody in Kalamazoo County just donated one dollar, we would be at like. Five hundred thousand dollars for the community healing center, and that would be fantastic. Imagine how many kids would be helped out with that money. One dollar. Just one dollar. And there are so many different ways you can donate. I don't want any excuses. It, it, <laughs> you know what? It, if you're like, I, I just can't donate right now. It's fine. You know, you can go on any time, even after the weekend. Groupsit.com and make a donation. It's just helping out the community healing center is the most important thing right now. But will I kind of want to get off this roof? And I can't get off the roof until we hit our goal. That's right. Yeah. It's roof set with 103.3 KFR. Yeah. 
my chair backwards, you can sit down. You sure do. I already know that. Just hoping nobody walks in. It's okay, I like it. Do you have any more water? I believe there's bottles of water in, in the that you can bear. My teeth are, I feel like my teeth are wearing sweaters. I need to brush my teeth. I hate that feeling. I lost it. You know what will help out? Seriously? Please your teeth and that's powder, powder sugar. So why I don't take advice from And he even said seriously, so now I never know when to take him seriously. <laughs> no, exactly. Thank you. Welcome to my world. Uh, Hence why I want. don't take anything seriously now. <laughs> seriously. I mean, he, he could give me a call and say, you know, I'll send you a Seriously, because he did that once. Real though. You did. Yeah. Sent me a picture saying, hey, does our renter's insurance cover fires, but the picture did not fit. Scared of my story. Oh, hey, you're back. Am I the only one that just noticed that? I think it's I think it's being a mess. Okay. Okay. And um <clears throat> Gonna be Tess out here the, the whole time. The plan. Right. All right. Okay. I. Okay. I, I do have the weekend and Monday to schedule still. So. Right. Can't take me with you. Just stay with me. So I can, so I can give them back. They look just like my regular glasses. They really do. They really do. Seriously. There. Yeah. I think we have to be further apart. <laughs> They do look like my look. Is everybody wearing glasses? Yeah, I know. I have blue hair though. Can't tell the difference. Ha! I'm six lives. (laughs) Get on my blog. Uh. They didn't warn me that sleeping on the roof makes you kind of crazy. Um. Yeah. It's the lack of sleep. I feel like I'm going to give the kids an assembly. That's cool. Chair around. Hey, he's sitting in his chair. He's just sitting there. Let's see what he has to say. <laughs> what I wanted to do. Yeah. No. 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 What are you doing? No. I have to go back here and do it. I look so stupid. <laughs> I did like the... Um, but I want it to go by my command. <laughs> I want to do this, though. Yeah. I think. (laughs) I give up. No hands. (laughs) Glasses. 
asses, nerd. Who's coming here next? Uh, they'll be periodically jumping in and out. Uh, like they've come up a little bit before the show. Uh, Dana will come up. But um, I gotta go back and schedule the yeah. weekend on Monday. Oh my goodness, it is super quick. It's not pitch perfect. Not pitch perfect. Sounds kind of close. <clears throat> that came out today. What? Oh, sorry, I'm not. <laughs> I want to see a Ben. The uh, Avengers. Ben, the new Avengers. Yeah, that's another one on my list. But sitting in a movie theater. I like being able to sit at home. That was awesome. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, they got stuff. <laughs> Glasses? I'm getting fed up. Best music, what a 3.3 KFR will attest live. Westnich and Millum, it's Rufson, 488-7580 to make your donation. What a 3.3 KFR. Just let me know when you're ready for me. Okay, I'm taking that phone call. Today's best music, 103.3 KFR. It's Tess up on the roof for Roof Sit 2015. And out of all the ways that you can donate, 488-7580, roofsit.com or wkfr.com, you can also donate. There are $1 doors. Dollar donation cards are available for purchase at Hardings throughout the area. You can stop in your local Hardings today to see if dollar cards are available for purchase and also tips for kids. At any Shell gas station, they're standing around by the pumps taking your donations. I'm stuck on the roof. Help. Our goal, 85000 We're at 33000 Help us, Kalamazoo. It's 103.3 KFR. That sounds stupid, didn't it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Bye. I'm not. 
Hey, Will, what's the internet URL for the email? Email? Yeah. O-W-A. Okay. Are you going down right now?
we're taking a break, but we'll be back.
we have to stay within the limits of the city reporting and reasonable safety precautions. Can't be doing too big a party. Right, no, no. We're getting ready to shoot some footage. Some footage for the local TV station. Sweet, I get to look at how my hair, how bad it looks. We are at $41,000, $41,000 people. We need 85 by the end of it, but we're halfway there. You're on camera. See how this works? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to... Dana, are you in the studio? Can you hear me? Uh, can you hear me now? Excuse me. You gotta make things fun somehow, you know? Dana's not in the studio right now. But Dana, if you can hear me or if you're recording, we're up to 40, 41, $41,000. 85,000, we have 41,000. And as of an hour ago, two hours ago, we had 33,000. Crazy! All adds up. Wasn't that awesome? I'm so good at improv. Is that, was that improv? Yeah. I haven't had any sleep, so forgive me. <laughs> right? Where did that show go? What show? Whose line is it? Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I didn't know it was supposed to rain. But I did bring it. Sit up Okay. So do you have questions for me? Yeah, it's just going to be on the fly. Okay, cool. Save some power. I'm not really. So you'd be like borrowing uh, 
their power or is that like a thing? Borrowing their power. Nothing wrong with that, right? We blew it yesterday. I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plugging that heater. But the mistake was having it all plugged into one outlet. Right. So. Yeah, it didn't take much time at all. I was like, ah, oh, old, I'd grow it. Okay, cool. Uh, yes. We're gonna start off by saying your name and spelling again. Okay. Tess Taylor, T E S S Taylor, T A Y L O R. All right, Tess. Now, what kind of event is going on today? It is called Roof Stick, and I'm sitting on the roof to raise awareness about child abuse, and we're raising money for the community. We're raising money. To get to yeah, don't worry. You know how to spell money. Yeah, right, right. We're raising money for the Community Healing Center right here in Kalamazoo. Um, and all the money that we that is donated stays right here. So let's say someone who needs help after they were a victim of child abuse. They can walk into the Community Healing Center without having a medical card and be seen right away with open arms. That's where all this money is going towards. And our goal is 85000 And as of a few hours ago, we hit 41000 So we're halfway there. Now, so who's taking part in this? Everyone. Um, yeah. uh, I'm Tess Taylor with Will in the morning, and WKFR 103.3 is a big part of this. We do this every year. This is my first year because I just moved here. So I'm still learning about everything and everyone. Um, who else should I talk about? Because I don't really. Oh, like today. Like today. Moe's barbecue's donating. Okay. And credit unions. Okay. Last year? Okay, yeah. Okay. School. Tips for kids. Carabas last night. Carabas last night. Um, Bob Evans. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The whole community. We have over 300 volunteers that end up getting involved in one way or another. Okay. All right. The whole community. See, that's the great thing. You know, that's really something maybe that you'll go is how many volunteers are showing up. That's volunteers. Okay. Buckets. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. Right I think I got it. I have to do it quick, though, because I have bad working memory. Okay. <laughs> and I've known all this. We have about 300 volunteers who have all been such a big help. Um, Bob Evans is helping donate. They're going to be donating breakfast. Last night, we had a Carabas dinner and a live auction. Um, today, we're having Big Mo's. Is it Big Mo's? Yeah. Today, we're having Big Mo's barbecue. Come and uh, bring lunch. Um, tips for kids at any Shell gas station. They're standing around the pumps and they're get, taking money that way. Uh, and there are the bucket brigade. They're all downstairs with their buckets, taking money right outside. And then there's one more. Schools? I'll have you talk about that. Right? Are you getting on camera? Because I don't know anything about what the schools are doing. My interview sucks. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a radio person. <laughs> 24 hours. 32. Someone's yeah. done. What? Yeah. She wants it off. We're coming. Oh, it's fine. Are you an editor too? Yeah. <laughs> this will be fun. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm going to be editing this, but you know, I'll edit the other.
that was the worst interview known to man. I'm awful. That's why I do radio and not TV. We have a constant live feed on. It's cool. Oh, butchered. And not to mention my rat's nest.
I met through the other day who was walking with his therapist down the hall, and he thought, I want to keep coming back here forever, okay? And that's a good thing. Right. Um, so, when how can people participate? Well, um, a good way is to go online to lipfit.com or 103.3. And it's still not too late to volunteer. You can try that at either one of those websites as well. How much longer will the collection be going on? We're here until 4 o'clock Saturday. And um, Tessa and others will be sleeping on the roof until we meet that goal. Okay. And uh, has a mother impact on you guys? It certainly has. There's all these people who are sleeping out here. But um, the giving seems to be good and generous, and I think it's very symbolic of what um, the kids who suffer go through. I, I remember um, one of our um, one of our adult survivors of the childhood years said, "You know, when you're a kid, there never is a twenty day that you suffer." So, a reason. so um, a little bit of sunshine we get, we'll live it up, but um, we also are enduring wind and rain because we know the fog and it's just three days for us. For some kids, it's a month. So, for today's event, uh, where exactly could we get? Well, there are bucket brigades and fix for kids, but we're expecting Big Mall's barbecue for lunch any moment from now, so that's something we're really looking forward to. Big Mall's Donated, and when you donate, you get big mom's don donation credits. Your donation is tax free. If you'd like to be your favorite charity, <laughs> uh, how many years have this? Have you guys been doing this? Hey, this is year 18. We're real slow. Um, before many of you were born. Many people forget about the value of being on It's like a
five years of volunteering. <laughs> um, but this is the first one that's really hit. I've really liked it. It's really good. I might just get a couple more uh, B-roll shots. Okay. Uh, that would be great. Okay. I'm going to shoot these guys down because I don't want everybody to be equipped. And then I'll come back. Yeah, should we get the menu? Just leave me up here for those. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get up here? You know, it keeps me from going back to work. <laughs>
Tina, hello. Burger, burger. All right, I'm gonna pull up the 11 o'clock sheet. Should I even mention that or should I wait until five o'clock? I, I, my teeth were wearing sweaters earlier, but I finally got to brush them. I brushed them on the roof, and the guy from Channel 3 got video of it, B-roll. <laughs> I don't know. He didn't say. And his, after my interview, he interviewed Sally, and then he left. But I will ask Sally. So how should I introduce myself? Just hates test. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Hey, it's tests. I'm at root. I need to take my headphones off. Hey, it's Tess. I'm out here on the roof for Roofs at 2015, and it is official. The data entered from last night's Carabas dinner and auction, which we thought we already had, but apparently we did not. Uh, before we announce the new total amount that we've raised, we'd like to thank Carabas, obviously, for all that they donated and for the great event that they put on last night as well. It was really awesome. We had a lot of really cool people come out and support. Uh, and thank you to all the local businesses who came by. Now, more importantly, the current total, drum roll please, I'll do it, 41,000. We're almost halfway to our goal and I can't wait to see the results of today. We still have the rest of the day today and most of the day tomorrow. Roofs it 2015. All right. Gotcha. I'm going to keep my headphones off now. Is that cool? All right, thanks. Hey, it's Tess. I'm on the roof right now waiting for you to... <laughs> hey, it's Tess. I'm on the roof for Roof Sit, waiting on your donations to help get me down. Our goal this year for Roof Sit, $85,000, and we're at $41,000. Halfway there. We can do this, Kalamazoo. How you can donate. Right now, you can call 488-7580. You can go to roofsit.com, or you can find the link on wkfr.com. And today, the rain is going to stop. It's beautiful right now. And we're about to have the Roof Sit Cafe. Big Moe's is here. They're cooking up pulled pork sandwiches. They're here till 1.30. And all you have to do is stop by with a $10 donation. All you can eat. It's Roof Sit 2015.
What'd you say? Okay, I was just trying to find the uh, announcement for something else. Five o'clock. <clears throat> hey, it's Tess. I'm still stuck on the roof waiting for your donations. Our goal this year, $85,000, and we have $41,000. We're halfway there. And how you can donate, you can call right now, 488-7580. You can visit roofsit.com, or you can find the link at wkfr.com. And we are right here at the corner of Westnage and Millam, and there are all kinds of people with buckets taking their donations, standing around, and we have something huge going on at 5 o'clock. I'm kind of jealous because I can't take part in it, but... Five o'clock, huge announcement at the corner of Westnage and Milham. Milham, I'm new here. I'm still learning all the streets. Roof sit 2015. <laughs> okay, thanks. All right, cool. See you soon. Bye. Ugh. I'm glad my boss makes me feel good about that stuff because that was bad. Thanks, Dana. All right, well, we'll have more activity later on. I'm gonna go down and eat me some Moe's. $10 donation for all you can eat, big Moe's barbecue, right now.
Dana's girlfriend, well, Dana and Dana's girlfriend, Susanna, are watching Stella right now. And Susanna just sent me the cutest video of Stella. No, you can't have her. I'm sorry.
with Doug Locke's idea. Yeah, the people who come by make donations here, but the premise is still oh, okay. that you, you know, I mean, yeah. they, they know where they're going to make their money before. Okay. Okay, we're up on the roof. Are you getting any Lavelles? Yeah, I can see us on the screen. Yay. So you can hear us and everything? Um, can we record real quick? All right. Just give you a countdown. Okay, I'm going to turn this mic off. Can you hear me on this one? Okay, just do a just do a, a pass. Oh, there's two mics here. Hold on. What about this one? Can you hear this? Okay, so there's only one mic hooked up. Okay, I'll just. Okay, no, I've got. I, I yeah, I just turned it back on. I saw multiple mics, so. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay. What's our premise? <sighs> History of roof sit? Kid and Heather. Kid and Heather? Wow. R really Heather. <laughs> Speaking retro lunch. Yeah. All right. Here we go in three, in two, in one. Live from the roof. Boy, how many years have we been doing this now? 18 years. Eight. 1997. Well, it'll be 98, actually, because we have to have the first year. So it'll be 98. We are talking to one of the, we're talking to one of the <laughs> pioneers of, of roof sit and our former owner of 103.3 KFR Ed Sackley. And first of all, thanks for the generous donation. Uh, you're welcome. I couldn't think of a better call. It was, it, it's no, it's, unfortunately, it's no less a problem now yeah. than it was when we started in 1998. And as Jack Dastley said last night, Jack put our tent up here in our lift and everything. He says, he wishes we never had to raise any more money. That I've said that so many out. times. <laughs> it's, it's unfortunate. Yeah. When we started this in 97, it was what, Kid and Heather? Well, yeah. it was Kid yeah. O'Shea it was Kid, on Stadium Drive. Kid O'Shea, that's correct, and, and Heather McGregor. But, yeah. uh, you know, it was, and it was a Kmart back when uh, Michigan that's right. had Kmarts. <laughs> now there's still Kmarts, but none of them are in Michigan. Yeah. Probably. But again, you know, it was, well, back then it was the guidance clinic, and now it's the community right. healing centers. And, you know, one of the uh, one of the uh, constants through all this, I believe, is Sally Reams. Yeah, Sally, and actually Sally started out, she was the director of the Portage Community Outreach Center. Wow. You know, going in the way back machine. Yeah. Wow. And now here we are in 2015, and, yes, yeah, sadly, the need is still there. And the thing that, I mean, I've said this so many times, but one of the, Probably the proudest thing I've ever done in my career is this, because we've actually made a difference. Yeah, I mean, the, the money is just is, is part of it. The money's great. Um, and, you know, set a fundraising goal each year. And, uh, you know, I pretty much achieve the goal every year. But it's using the power of radio and the multiplication of all the people that are involved in this to go out and do good works, you know, year in, year out. Community healing centers touches people, you know, right in their living rooms or homes, you know, kids in schools and stuff. And this, this, is, this is the multiplicative effect of we do Amen. to get the word out. The dollars help to make some of those things happen, but really it's people having the awareness of the issues and, you know, taking the time out, you know, if you see something, say something. Yeah, exactly, exactly. 488-7580 if you want to do it over the phone. If you go to WKFR.com, there is a link to donate to RoopSit. We're here all day today and all day tomorrow. We've got a lofty goal, but we can't do it without your help. Please make a donation now and help stop and fight child abuse here in Kalamazoo. Hopefully. Hello? I can't hear you, but I can hear you said something. I can hear you, but I can't hear what you said. Oh, okay, cool. Work. All right, thank you, sir. I'll be back in just a little bit. I got it. I'm gonna see if I can steal a rib. <laughs> If not, if not, there's a donut. Oh God! I play trivia twice a week on a Thursday night, so it's a good piece of I don't know how we got the top of our mind last night. The old quirky movie, you know? and uh, we got talking about pie. So, you know what? I think I'm gonna stop at pie every day. Hey, so I bought one. Oh, 
one there is probably gray. Wears jeans and has kind of short gray hair. Okay. Now, look, now, I remember when they first opened there was a guy that moved in from Chicago. Was it Banucci? Or he ate the Because I remember when they first came in, we're going to give you Chicago pizza. Some nights, I mean, the weather's gotten nice, so we only have to be on that side. But it's a nice hotel. I'm going to do it for sure. 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 So there's a lot of people who are against all of this weather. Some of it, obviously, you have to have for reformers. You're going to have a Jerry Lewis-style telephone.
mean, we're doing it over Wi-Fi, but it's basically a tie-up. You know, it's that little piece of software, and you can, I mean, I can do it on my phone. Well, not having to argue with things and all that stuff on the screen now. It's the Kelly show that you're going to erase. That's it. So yeah, I mean, instead of voicing them, when I talk to the kids, the station will be heard by me. And I start to kind of feel like, yeah, I'm back in London. So then you, and in fact, Damon even mentioned it earlier today. He says, you know, the problem is it sounds too good. It doesn't sound like a remote investor. Hurry up, fast. You know, well, you gotta you gotta go over on that side of the park. Yeah, and they're missing sound. This way around that tree, or even you know, even the comrades. Actually, the comrades. If you listen to it on the radio, it actually sounds pretty good. The studio needs to tell the story. But on the air, it really wasn't bad. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it almost sounds too good. There are those two toggle switches on our board, and maybe there was something in there that triggered the other one. Yes, the gas cart. And it's all chaff, it's all chaff in the production staff. You have to turn the light to the floor. Yeah. But I mean, I remember even texting John Joe, how did they do this? Because I was trying to remember the technology of it. How did they get the cart to play? Well, you can buy these and buy these. A bit of multiple carts. Had to be all set up, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I just don't remember that. That's not what we did. By the way, you probably already know this, but uh, we got rid of Michael Savage, this case deal on the live. And so I'm running Jonathan Brandmark. I'm KMI. So, so if FYI, I'm listening to it last Saturday night when I was watching it. I'm thinking, oh my god, these KMI listeners are probably having a heart attacks, right? <laughs> are there any KMI listeners? You know what? I got about two or three complaint calls about Brandmark. So, you know, my thinking was, you know, I'm getting a zero share. What if I got to lose? You know, if they want to run Savage and have people screaming at them, that's the You know, if they can, you know, Yeah. 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 He's on the your plug. Yeah. Uh, no, I just saw a picture of Mitch Michaels. He's working for a station in Aurora. Because one of the pages I follow on Facebook is FM Radio from the 70s in Chicago. Something like that. And somebody just had a picture of him and another guy. I think it was yesterday. What's with our cups? Man, it's cups. Not my cups. Oh, you know, okay. 
My boys start on Sunday again. I think you guys will do really well. Let that curse is gone. I don't know if it's going to be this year necessarily. Maybe not be quite sure enough. But I think in the next year or two or three, you guys will probably have to do some There's just, and everything I hear about this Chris Bryant kid, is like he is the next, you know, the second coming of Ted Williams. Uh, I look at it. By the way, somebody, I, and I just concluded, but it, you know, this, this is something they would do, but apparently Ed said, said Oberon is the most overrated American beer. I saw it. I didn't read it. I told you to go no, 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 no. What it was is that somebody in the Gazette did a story on Dead Spin going to the bank. Oh. Yeah. It's like my dad can beat up your dad, you know, that kind of thing. Is Oberon overrated? Absolutely. Is it, is it a smart marketing move on the part of Larry? Absolutely. Is it spring training? He says, it's my spring training here. Oberon comes out in the yeah. baseball season. And then I said, you know, I was just out visiting my nephew in Phoenix. He goes to Arizona State. They got Oberon on tap year-round. Because they, that's the way it works. They don't care down there. I mean, I think it's a very good beer. And for every dead spin, right. Peter King, you know, the football writer on Sunday Night Football and Sports Illustrated and everything. He loves O'Brien. He writes about it. He was on his training bus. He, he was doing training camps from Paul well, Hanson and the Bears last year. And I guess they stopped there and had lunch. And I knew they were coming. I sent him an email. He never wrote me back. And they said, they man, come on over. I'll buy you an O'Brien. That's what he likes it. Now, Michael downstairs, he loves IPAs. He loves IPAs. He loves um, I'll tell you what, where I really enjoy drinking beer, and I guess he and Larry can't stand each other. The guy that owns those buildings, Jamie. Yeah. But he's got these cast beers where they hand pump them. And I had, uh, and I'm not a big fan of Whitson, but he had a citrus spice Whitson. I could have sat there and drank all day if, if I wasn't going to get drunk. And now he's got some other Michigan beer in there. I mean, they rotate them every couple of three weeks, but uh, at least the end of the year, if they're not as carbonated, they're easier to drink. They really aren't good. So, yeah, we went over there with, uh, you know, that administration is not going to get down safe. That was my next, yeah, that was my story. You know, going from Champagne, borrowing somebody's car. Carbondale, same thing. And doing a Coors run. Yeah. Yeah, and making sure you didn't bring back the free two Coors. When I was in Carbondale, boy, Coors was, you know, and then we realized, well, it's Colorado people. Oh. Where'd you get Coors, man? Well, we drove to Colorado. I remember I had a big stack of my dorm closet. Lord have you rest in peace. I said, I was so stupid. Get in the pasture, I did. Keep it refrigerated and cold. Well, here, you know, six months later, I'm the guy that still got Coors and it tastes like shit. Because it's been kept in a dorm closet. I didn't know. I didn't either. <laughs> well, I better get downstairs. I need to run out of here. So your trip around the world was fun? Yeah. We yeah, sure, sure circumnavigated the globe.
Okay.
all day. All day? Yeah. Um, you can go back and watch what we've done, but you can also watch live. Um, we still have four viewers. Yay! Um, we haven't had viewers in a while. And um, they also broadcast live in the morning yep. from here. And they send some images from here. Um, Champ 3 was up here yep. forever this afternoon and did. I don't know when they're going to air it or if they already did it. I don't know.
text to my cell phone number, it might be easier. Alright, I'll see when you get here. Okay, thanks, bye. Hello. Hey, Dave. Great. How are you? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, Okay, well, listen, I just emailed you back. You had great timing. Um